if if I had something like a, um, let's say I had a copper oxide GANS and I mixed it with zinc oxide GANS, would the strength of that be the strength of um, 64 plus 68 or 132? Or, and, and would it also be the strength of the copper and the strength of the zinc? So it has three different, three different strengths within it, or does it just have one? Sorry, yeah. Uh, hello, John. Yeah. Can you hear? I just dropped off when you said, would it have the strength of the copper and zinc here? Yeah. Carry on. So, would it have the strength of the copper and the zinc combined plus the strength of the copper plus the strength of the zinc individually? Plus, plus. So would it have three different strengths or would it have one it has strength? minimum four? But the uh, um, oxygen too, right? Actually, no, actually you have in reality uh, seven different strengths. And in combination, I think 16 or 19 strengths. Because of the salt that we make it from, and uh, no, even if you take the zinc gans and take it out, and take the copper gans and take it out, and you take the uh, the combination, let me explain to you. Maybe you understand a little bit. When you have, if you go to the book number, uh, I think it's number three, where we show the ganses. Um, somebody's microphone is open. Um, these are your copper. These are your zinc. In magnetic field interactions, is does not finish. This is how creation was created. This is how the elements of the universe were created. Maybe you understand something from this. The interaction of the between the zinc and the copper creates its own separation field. This is what we do in the plates. We put the nano copper and a copper, and between, we create copper, but when we put the zinc and the copper, the difference gives us this carbon. Man should have, all of you should have realized how, how come between the copper and zinc I produce CO2? Where is the copper coming from? Where is the carbon is coming from? Now you see the carbon 12, carbon 14, still here? Where I told you the separation between the links of the gravitational magnetical is always a carbon-14. You see, you created it. I've told you the same thing, but that time I could not explain. Now, what is addition to this is, you have certain strengths that they add up together. And the adding up gives you the 60, plus 65, or 62 plus 65, I always work this way, because I look at the magnetical, give one, take two. Or if you go 62, the difference gives you the carbon double. Now, but this one is 127. One thing you have forgotten is this guy and this guy, create their own 124, this one and this one creates their own 130. Where These are you are. coming up 
for those numbers? How, how do you get to 124? Oh, two or copper, or two, two, two copper, two zinc. Oh. Uh, you're not working with one, huh? You have to consider all combinations. Now go back to the teaching. When you had the star formation, the interaction of these three creates the free space here. The attraction of these three creates the space here. The interaction of these three created here. Yeah? And then the interaction of these three created you the free space. Plus what you have in the bottom interaction of the three between each other. Pushes it to what we call the free space. So when you have the dynamic systems in the plasma, in the Gans condition, Every combination is created. It's you who have limited your knowledge or understanding to a given point. Now, the next step is very simple. Now you have a carbon 12. Now you have the 60, I call it, it's easier, and 65 or 62 and 65. Yep. Yeah? Now, these interact, and this interacts. Then, this interacts with this one. This interacts with this one. At the same time, they all interact the same way. This is how universe creates a spectrum of the elements. Because this carbon-12 has interaction with this. Now it's a new entity. It has to interact with something, with this environment. The same thing here. It has to interact with this one. Now the difference between these two creates a new condition. And then you have to understand, due to the positioning of these little chaps, here, I have to find the right color. There we are. Because of the positioning of these little chaps here in the nano layers, gas plasma layers, or whatever you call it, some of them, due to the proximity of their own, do not turn all clockwise or anti-clockwise. Now you have to find the field balance forces. So you can get a reduction. So you get a 62 in the magnetic, magnetic field, and you get a 61 plasma. So you have left with one or negative of one. So if you have such an interaction with your carbon, then you understand instead of carbon 12, you have carbon 13, because you're extracting. Then you understand how the elements of the universe are created and how things progress. We started with one element, which was the soul of the creator. In giving and returning back to itself, the friction created and then the division of the cells. All the elements of the universe are created due to the same kind of interaction as you see here. Because then what is slowed down in the field of the back leads to creation of inertia. And then the totality of that in interaction with the field force of the universe leads to, leads to creation of the matter state. Unified field theory. I created, as I have created, in the turn, I've been created by my own fields. Now you understand the beginning of life, the origin of the essence of the creation, the creator. This is how the creation started with one, one point of reference of energy, one point of reference of the creation of magnetic field, which on feeding on back on itself to complete itself, lead to the creation of the universe.